and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about the uh, beauty products that I've used or well, used up over the last month or so. Um, I didn't do a video like this for February because of the ongoing situation everywhere. Um, I haven't actually worn a lot of makeup. This is the most makeup I've worn for uh, a few weeks. Um, I've been wearing makeup to go to work but not I don't wear this much because I work in a supermarket so it's not really worth <laughs> wearing a full face of makeup all the time. Um, so I'm going to go through what I've used up and whether I will buy it again. So the first thing, that's the first two things are from Body Shop. I love Body Shop. Um, I could spend so much money in there. I love all of their stuff. I have quite a lot of the Body Shop products anyway because I get the um, Body Shop advent calendar every year. Um, today actually was the first time I've used a beauty blender ever. Um, I used it with concealer under my eyes because it came with the, the calendar. So I actually quite liked the way that felt so I might try that um, with my foundation and stuff as well. But anyway, rambling on. Um, the first thing is another one of the little things that came in the calendar and that was the coconut bath bubble. This is so nice, it smells amazing and it really does foam up pretty well in the bath. Um, it's just lovely, love it. Um, they're only like £1.50, so bargain. And the other thing I used is the almond milk and honey soap and that is the for sensitive and dry skin. Um, my skin is very dry at the moment, as I'm sure a lot of people's is, um, just from being indoors a lot, heating and all that sort of stuff, although not using the heating as much at the moment. Um, but this was really good. It wasn't harsh on my skin or anything. Um, I definitely felt more moisturised after I'd used it. So yeah, this was good and I'd definitely buy that again. Um, I've got the shower gel in this um, from the calendar. Um, so I'm going to see what that's like as well, and if that's as good as a soap, um, that would be really good. I've got hand cream in this as well, so really looking forward to using that as well. And it smells really nice, um, say almond milk and honey, just, it just lush. Um, but if you saw the video I made before this, um, I tried out different um, under eye gel patches and I actually used up the last of these ones. They are the Skin Academy uh, Wrinkle Care Gel Eye Patches. Um, these were quite good. Um, they smell of lavender as well. And they've got collagen in them. They're firming, regenerating and moisturising. I did really like these. Um, but I found the patches from Poundland work slightly better. Um, but I'll link that video below so you can go and watch that one if you want to. Um, to the full review and me putting them on and all of that sort of stuff. Um, I've tried looking for these. Um, I've looked on various places online and I can't actually find them. So I think this is gonna be something that um, I'm not gonna be able to repurchase again, but I still have some other eye patches left. Um, I've got um, an eye mask as well um, that I'm wanting to try. So that's not the end of the world. And uh, next, what's next, what's next? Now I showed a Soap and Glory um, eyeliner in the last video, but this is the, um, I think it's called Coco. Yeah, Coco Bean. Um, I don't know if you can really see there the color of that. It's like a brown color. It's actually what I've got on now. Um, so it's quite good, but it's also got a sharpener on the end. It looks quite dirty. So, you can sharpen it. It looks like there's some left, but it's actually right down to the thing and it's actually scratching my eye now. Um, hence, used up. Um, I haven't had a chance to look for this yet. Um, I will have a look online later. Um, I think it's in Boots you can get the Soap and Glory stuff. Um, it's really good. It's only, I think it's like three pounds or something. Um, but I like this color. I like the brown to go, because I use a lot of brown eyeshadow, so use that quite a lot. Um, I haven't got another brown one so I will have to go on to using a black one um, and I don't always do the under eye line either so 
yeah, I mean, this was really good. I love the colour. It does kind of look almost black, but it is actually brown. Um, it does smudge if you've had it, if you've had it on all day, sort of by the end of the day, it does look a little bit smudged under here. Um, but it's not too bad. Um, that's the only problem I, f I find with it if you have it, have it on all day. Um, I do wear this to work quite a lot. Um, and I do find sort of by the end of my shift that, you know, I, I do look a bit sort of smudgy under the eyes, which makes me look even more tired than I did to start with, which isn't great, but you know, but it is, I do like it. And I, if I can find it again, I will definitely buy this one again. Uh, oh, another one from the body shop. And that is the gentle eye makeup remover, the chamomile one. Let me see that properly. This is a really nice eye makeup remover. Um, it is really soft. Um, it doesn't feel um, too sort of chemically. Uh, it does feel like water basically going on. Um, it doesn't uh, dry out my eyes or anything like that, especially when I'm having to do underneath um, with the eyeliner. Love it, it's a really good makeup remover. I have actually got two more of the ones this size. One that I bought and another one that came in the calendar. So <laughs> um, I think this is like the second or third one that I bought. Um, I do quite like it. But I did go for a while where I couldn't find any of this. So I've ended up getting a different eye makeup remover. Um, but now I've got some of those in backup, I'll stop using that one and go back to using this. Not that the one that I've got isn't that isn't good, it's just I prefer this one. It is really nice, really soft and gentle. Definitely recommend that and definitely I have bought again and I will buy it again <laughs> when I finally get to the end. Um, now I have a number seven eyeshadow here. You can't really see a lot of that. Again, it's a, a brownie colour. Uh, let's see if I can get some out. <laughs> I've literally used this till it's literally got nothing else left in it. You can see that swatch on the back of my hand there. But it's uh, the colour is actually called Beach Shine. And it's just one of the Stay Perfect eyeshadows. Um, as you can see, I have literally used it until there is no more. Um, I will have a look and see if they have any more of this. Um, I'll have a look online and see if they've got any more. But at the moment, I do actually have quite a lot of brown eyeshadow. Um, Bowie bought me the um, I Heart Revolution uh, chocolate um, palette for Christmas, which has obviously being called chocolate, a lot of different brown shades, um, some matte, some sparkly. Um, so I'm going to use that and I've got a number seven, um, another number seven one, which has like all the different shades to each different part of your eye. Um, so I'm going to use that and I've got a couple of other palettes that got sort of brown nudie colours in. Um, so I'm going to use those up before I do actually repurchase this. Um, but I would definitely repurchase this again. It's a really nice little eyeshadow. Um, I've got a couple of other color, um, size ones like this, um, different colors, they're like sort of lighter base colors, um, which I've still got quite a lot of. So it'll be a little while before I do buy any more of these, but definitely would buy this again. Really nice little eyeshadow. Um, definitely recommend it. But I think all the number seven eyeshadows and makeup is quite good. It is a love of mine. Um, the next two products I'm going to show together, they're different, but the same. Um, obviously at the moment, washing our hands, wash, wash, wash those hands. Um, and with working in the supermarket as well, obviously I'm washing my hands quite a lot and I'm uh, using hand sanitizer quite a lot, a lot more than we do usually, um, simply because I I'm putting myself in enough danger it is, it is working in the shop with the public um so you know i'm using 
hand sanitizer quite a lot at work um they have given us some at work so you know um but my hands it, they don't look too bad at the moment because i've put some of this on um but they are getting really bad um the palms sometimes look like they're actually peeling off which isn't very nice and i don't want that um so the first thing i've used is the number seven protect and perfect intense uh day hand cream this was just a little sample one that came um in i think it was like a christmas gift box or something like that so i i always buy the number seven boxes with like the beauty products like the moisturizers and um etc in after christmas when they usually on boxing day and get them cheaper so that was in one of those but i have actually got a full size one of those that i've just started using um really nice it does uh stop your hands drying out but i have found that i do need quite a lot of it to cover my hands properly um if i don't use too enough they do still feel dry in places like sort of down here and just sort of across the back a little bit um so i do need to use quite a lot of it but it is nice and it does work so definitely remember that and it's got um spf 15, uh, uva 15 spf 15 um so you know your hands are protected in that way with that one as well and again i'm back onto soap and glory uh with their hand food which i've been using as well uh when that one ran out um this one is scented with their sugar crush um scent which is sweet lime and vanilla and it does smell so good it smells really fresh so you know it's just you know sort of wakes you up a little bit i've got the exfoliating shower gel and i think um a couple other bits that have got the um sugar crush in i bought two of the sugar crush tins in the sale at christmas uh for that as well um i think that's the ones with the eye masks in um but it's also got um shea butter macadamia oil and marshmallow in it um it is really good doesn't just make your hands smell nice it actually does make them feel soft and it gets rid of all the dryness in my hands and you don't need to use too much of it um there's a couple of times where i didn't realize you didn't need too much of it and i my my, my hands were quite wet and greasy but that was just because i'd used too much of it um but it's, it's it is a non-greasy one and it is brilliant i've got couple of other ones of these about the same size as these uh, just the normal um, hand food and I've got a big one as well again from things that I've either been bought for Christmas or I've bought in the sale um, once I get through all of those which at the moment could be quite soon um, I will definitely get more of this um, because it is really good I did prefer this over the number seven one which is very unusual because usually I like number seven it products more than anything else so um but the uh hand food from soap and glory really good definitely buy again and i definitely recommend using that especially at the moment um i have got some body shop uh hand things as well but i haven't tried any of those yet so i might actually um instead of using this one next, uh, the other one i've got these i might try one of the um body shop ones just to see how it compares um, and then I'll be able to tell you in the next video what that's like. So that was all the things that I've used up this month. Uh, I haven't used up as much as I would usually because of, you know, the sort of the time, stressful time that we're all in at the moment. Um, hasn't really made me feel sort of wanting to get up and put loads of makeup on and stuff and use a lot of other beauty products because you know when you're kind of at home apart from going to work it doesn't really instill that in you to to want to do that um sort of lacking enthusiasm a little bit um which i guess a lot of people are at the moment but i do actually feel quite good because i've done a full face today so i may do that more when i'm at home anyway um so that's it yeah that's the uh, empties for this month um, I will bring you another empties video 
hopefully at the end of April, beginning of May, um, to show what I've used this month and hopefully there'll be a bit more. Um, I might also show some of the favourite products that I've used during the month as well to um, bulk the video out a little bit um, and so you can see what I've been using, um, what I use every day sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so sorry I've rambled on a little bit. I do tend to do that. Really sorry, can't help it. Um, if you like this video, it'd be awesome if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you know every time I'm going to release a video. I will leave the link for some of these products down below. Um, some of those links will be affiliate links, um, which means I get a little bit of a commission if you do happen to purchase anything. And I will see you soon.